Space Cabby, also spelled Space Cabby, is a science fiction character in DC Comics. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Publication history. Space Cabby first appeared in Mystery in Space number no. 21, August 1954, in a story scripted by Otto Binder and drawn by Howard Sherman. The character reappeared in issue number 24, in the story, The Hitchhiker of Space, written by Franz Herren and again drawn by Sherman, and thereafter became a recurring series in Mystery in Space, the only such in the book for the whole time that the series was being first printed. Besides Binder, Gardner Fox would write many appearances, and artwork was handled by Gil Kane and Bernard Sachs. The Cabbie's monthly series continued to 1958 with Mystery in Space No. 47. The character's last appearance as a lead feature would be in August 1972 in From Beyond the Unknown No. 18, a reprint of The Hitchhiker of Space. His last solo appearance in a comic book was in DC Superstars No. 6 which was published in August 1976. It was a reprint of a story called The Luxury Limousine of Space. Otto Binder wrote that story as well. Space Cabby has since then made occasional guest appearances in other comics, such as Starman, and DC Comics Presents No. 78. He was mentioned in one issue of the New 52 series Threshold, about a bounty game in space, and later made several appearances in the series Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps as an underworld informant of the Green Lantern Guy Gardner. Topic. Fictional character biography Space Cabby lives in the mid-22nd century, driving for Nine Planet Taxi. As a child, he grew up among the military tyrants of Genka 7. He showed an aptitude for stellar navigation. During the Board Wars of 2146, he was a fighter pilot. He took jobs as a laborer and a pilot for hire. He eventually took up driving cab number 7433. He is a member of the Cosmic Order of Space Cab Pilots and Veterans of Alien Wars. His first appearance is as a narrator, telling tales to his fares. Over the next handful of issues, he has his cab stolen, meets his exact double and has to deal with a mail bomb. His adventures dominate the title Mystery in Space. The series ends with number 47, where he has to deal with three doubles, he is seen conversing about space exploration to a friend. He is briefly seen in the Round Robin Challenge Limited series, at one point, he and his cab are co-opted by Lobo to chase down a gang of space bikers. Lobo leaves Space Cabby, who is charged with reckless driving, murder, and other crimes. On the way to prison, Lobo saves him and returns his cab. The discrepancy of a modern age character appearing with a future one is explained when Space Cabby mentions on the witness stand that he took a day job in the present to help make ends meet. Space Cabby plays host to two passengers talking about the legacy of Starman, a name given to multiple heroes over many decades. He has a brief cameo when Timothy Hunter takes a magical trip into the future. He makes another cameo in the time-torn plot of JLA, The Nail. He assists Superman, who is ill, across the time stream itself. Both come under weapons fire, he gains a reputation for being able to take anyone anywhere in the universe, an older version with an artificial leg is seen assisting the Green Lantern Corps with vital intelligence information. Space Cabby is back work doing fares into forbidden areas. <laughs> Other appearances Space Cabby appears in Justice League Unlimited No. 18 April 2006 and Ambush Bug, Year None No. 1 September 2008. Space Cabby's cab made a brief appearance in Elseworlds JLA, another nail when all time periods meld together. Space Cabby makes a cameo in the final issue of Batman, The Brave and the Bold as Batmite is upset of the comic's cancellation and states several missed crossover opportunities including Space Cabby. Topic in other media. Topic Television. Space Cabby appears in several episodes of Justice League Action, voiced by Patton Oswalt. 
This version exists in the present and is shown to keep photos of him and important characters that he has transported to different parts of the universe in one of his visors. In Follow That Space Cab, he assists Superman and Hawkman with transporting Mr. Mind to the Justice League Watchtower while avoiding Lobo who plans to take Mr. Mind to collect the bounty. Afterwards, he gets a selfie with Superman and Hawkman. In All Aboard the Space Train, Batman and Cyborg hire him to help deal with Kanja Ro when he and his minions hijack a space train. Under Batman and Cyborg's suggestion, Space Cabby frees Jonah Hex from ice and the two of them work together to defeat Kanja Ro. In Selfie Help, he gives Batman a ride back to the Justice League Watchtower, takes pictures of himself with several heroes, and stumbles into a battle between Wonder Woman and some parademons. Thinking quickly, he blinds some of the parademons with his camera flash, helping Wonder Woman win. Though the battle turns out to be just a training simulation, the heroine is impressed with his bravery. In The Fatal Fair, Space Cabby's taxicab is in bad shape as he sees a commercial for Roxy Rocket's transportation service. He gets a client in the form of Darkseid where he takes him to one of the moons of the planet and gets paid in Omega coins. While trying to get Darkseid his receipt, he stumbles upon Darkseid, Desaad, and Kanto torturing Superman on the virus he used on the mother box. After tricking Kanto into letting him take him to Earth instead of an acid lake planet, Space Cabby enlists Hawkman and Swamp Thing into rescuing Superman. After Superman sends Darkseid to the acid lake planet Shock, Space Cabby's robot Jack is unable to repair Space Cabby's taxicab causing Jack to call Roxy Rocket to give them a ride. Before taking off, Roxy advises Space Cabby that she'll have to stop at Schlock first meaning that Darkseid had called for her services. In Boo Ray for Bizarro. Bizarro brings Space Cabby to the Justice League Watchtower during Amazo's attack where Bizarro considers Space Cabby to be the smartest man in the galaxy. As Bizarro fights Amazo, Space Cabby struggles to free the captive Justice League members so that they can cancel the message that would lure the other Justice League members into a trap. In Barehanded, he helps Hal Jordan recover his Green Lantern ring after he was using the restroom. He later helps him recover it, after he leaves Cabby's new GPS navigation appears to know Green Lantern and reveals she's a disembodied artificial intelligence with no memory of her origin. Cabby then watches the AI take off, searching for someone or something. 